Right, welcome to today's episode, which is out on the golf course very soon. But first of all, I want to ask you a question, and that is one that I asked myself in recent weeks, and that's how well I would perform with only irons in the bag. So yeah, that means removing driver, fairway woods, hybrids, and I've put a bag together, which literally consists of putter through to the longest iron in the bag being a three iron, and I'm gonna go out there and play 10 holes at Hollywell Golf Club. The reason I'm doing this is because in recent weeks, I found that whilst I might lose a little bit of yardage off the tee, I'm gaining in accuracy. And with the hard and firm fairways that there are out there right now, am I really losing any major distance, but really gaining significantly in terms of control and finding fairways? And we'll find out because we're both gonna watch my recent 10 holes at Hollywell Golf Club. Right, so it starts off with a few looseners and uh, this is a par four, dog leg right to left. And all we wanna do, I've got a four DHY, it's just hit straight down. Um, you, ideally not a cut because this is moving you further away from the hole. You can aim, if we're gonna take that cut shot, then it's close to that little green bush that you can see. It just means we left a longer second in, which was around 165. I had a really good seven iron, but I don't know if it was an alignment thing, but I certainly pulled it down the left and that's not a great position I find myself in. Um, I choose a 60 degree Callaway Jaws wedge that I've been playing right now, and to be honest with you, this was a really nice shot. I can't see where it landed at the time, but more than happy with that chance for par, and even more happy with the fact that I sank it. So that's a good start with a par. Par five next, and uh, this is a three DHY. Again, pretty much straight down there. You're gonna be a little bit further left than I finished and I'm gonna end up amongst what I would call the hillocks. There's no real trouble down there. It's just a bit of a, well, what lie you get can be very questionable, but this isn't too bad to be honest with you. Sitting okay. And this again is just about straight down, a four DHY. Them clubs I'm finding really so playable um, and they go a long way. Fortunate to avoid that little bit of gorse. 94 in. I've got a gap wedge, and again, quite a nice smooth swing at the flag. I'm really happy with this, to be honest with you, in the air. And uh, I was a bit surprised when we get to it, you'll see it's just pulled up short Suggested. and everything on this green runs away from you. But they had just been watering them just before we arrived, so a little bit slower than I've expected. And you can see with the put, again, left it short. Now this uh, plays a par three off the yellows, par four off the whites, and I prefer playing it from the whites because this is such a tough shot for me. It's 167 into a real tight green. Um, again, play the seven iron. It's an awful shot, to be honest with you. You can tell there's no real commitment in there. And you can see me staring that one down. You know you're gonna end up in a bit of trouble, which I was. Um, I've got a little bit of a shot to try and punch one out. I chose an eight iron. And it was a case of just keeping it below that first tree, which it did. And, um, you know, as shots go, I'm really pleased with that. But once again, the putter came to the rescue and that's a, a decent up and down. Right, 156 par three. Um, I played again, seven iron, just leaking out to the right hand side, which is what's happening right now with my swing, but at least it's consistently doing that. We're trying to make changes, as you know. Now, this has got a real big swing on it. I chose to play that infamous ping chipper, which I really like around these kind of uh, areas. And um, again, That's really happy with incredible. the way this finished. But I'm talking to Hannah about a big swing here that I know is in this sort of two or three footer. Almost taught myself out of it. And um, I, I don't know if it's oh, a you know? bad put, bad read, no pace, whatever you want to call it, but a bogey from nowhere. Just needed it harder. Um, but anyway, next hole, par four, straight at the houses uh, where I'm aiming at in front of me. This is a five DHY. So I've played each one of them. And the idea is on these firm fairways, like I said, if this lands in the middle of the fairway, which this one did, it just runs on for a long way. Um, and you just, I mean, again, I've got sort of uh, 70 odd yards into this flag. Flag was tight left. It was a stupid shot because I played at the flag. And uh, what you're gonna see now is I left myself with absolutely no shot whatsoever. So uh, a bit of a dumb move, should have played right to the flag. And I'm not fancying this at all, 60 degree wedge. And I've got to admit, again, really, really pleased with that. Surprised it didn't roll out a little bit further. But the one good thing is the putter oh, is down, uh, doing a good job and managed to salvage another par. So at this point, just one over. 
This is a par five that causes me problems. I've played driver, I've played five, where I get into a lot of trouble. This is the three DHY. And uh, what I'm really pleased with here is just oh. that's a perfect line for me oh, nice inside of that tree line, just cutting back a little bit, and that's gonna leave me bang center of the fairway. Yeah. And again, this is a bit of a bottleneck. It's a par five, it's not overly long, but it's about positioning. And uh, I'm wary of the fact I've leaked a couple out right on this hole. So sort of guide one down the left-hand side. Get away with that, one. That sort of non-committal swing can be a bit dangerous, but I think you hear me say come on in now. camera that uh, I got away with it. And uh, yeah, it just bounced in and it's not bad at all. And now I've just got a bit of a flick with a wedge. The green is on the back tier, which you can't see. It's a great hole, this. It's like a basin green, and there's very much uh, two tiers to it, a lot of distance. And um, oh. I say at this point, Wow, I, I got, got lucky, lucky there. there. And that's because I literally pitched into that bank I'm now stood on. And if it had bounced forward, I'd have been in a lot of trouble. As it stands, it's back to that ping chipper and a very delicate one uh, just to nudge Go down on. and Go get on. near the hole. And again, I'm just really pleased with what that's done. And another par. So we're still sat at one over, as I understand. Right, par three, pitching wedge 124. Again, we're not doing the course justice because you can't see enough of it from this sort of level lie, but a great hole over uh, very much a sort of, um, well, you either hit the green or you're in a lot of trouble. Big swing in put down the hill, and for a long way, I'm thinking that's in the middle of the hole, <sighs> and I didn't quite hit it, but we've still got the par, even though for whatever reason, we don't seem to have the put. Anyway. Next up, three DHY yet again. This is all about getting one chasing down there. Oh, Great chasing. hole. Um, oh. Makes a slight sweep from right to left, <laughs> but that's in position A. You're never going to get an even light on that fairway, um, but that's not too bad. And again, it was the 60 degree wedge, which I hit as hard as I could, as high as I could, because this green all runs away from front to back. And again, I didn't manage to get it to uh, to get to the hole, wow. which I was surprised at. Misread. I said I wouldn't read and as these. I just said, I didn't read the green very well. But we did make another par because the putter is on fire. Right, this is a tough hole, 17. It is two really? irons, no matter what, whether you're playing driver in the bag or whatever. I find you've got to hit an iron. And again, a bit of a guidey swing, and I've pulled that left, and that's you ring a out ball? of bounds. It's not out of bounds. It's in heavy rough, and it's straight away for a reload and we're three off the tee. So that's a real disappointment from where we've been so far. And then that swings back, just a nice gentle cut into a position, which is the black and white marker or anywhere in around there. And um, I'll switch over to my audio. Oh, Jesus, and... Yeah, I wasn't happy with that. It was a pretty oh, awful shot. God. I had a feeling I'd get away with it and it was, it was fine, but what an awful shot from like 150 or something in. This is the 60 degree wedge, the Jaws wedge, which again, I'm playing well with. But as I quickly went back in my head, I think that would have been a triple bogey. Right, on to 18. And it's a real tough hole, and the one where you Ready? probably would be thinking you want driver. Probably at the best swing of the day, that's a three DHY. That tree line that it's on is exactly where I'm aiming, and it didn't leave it. So really pleased with that. Um, and then go from that to this, which was, I left myself a long way in, um, but you'll see, I don't know what happened with that swing. It's horrendous. It's, I've gone from the best swing of the day to the worst swing of the day. Uh, that was a seven iron, by the way. And I left myself still a real awkward wedge because this green runs from front to back quite severely. I played the 60 degree as high as I could to land at the front and it rolled out all the way down to pin high, which I was really pleased with. So we've got a putt, um, again, which would be an up and down safe par. So a real good save yet again. I mean, arguably the putter saved me a few times, the short game saved me a few times. The triple bogey didn't help. I think that would have left us at four over, if I'm right. Correct me if I'm wrong, and it doesn't really matter. I was just, uh, that's me watching it back and first thoughts after I've played it. Um, the point was, did I miss any of the driver, fairways, hybrids? Well, I think the answer to that is absolutely no, I didn't. Um, so it's all about very much setting your bag up to the conditions. If you're playing that same golf course, same yardage in the middle of the winter, then that's a different story because A, you've got the elements to compete with, such as the wind. 
you've then got the fact that the ground is wet underfoot so you've got no roll so no that bag would not work in the middle of winter however in the middle of summer those firm uh, fairways mean that you know keeping control that was the key if you can find the center of the fairways and arguably on most occasions i pretty much did so that bit was pretty decent i would say you can see the swing changes um i've lost a little bit of yardage just now just a tad that cut is there and we're going to try and work on um straighten that up a little bit but it's controllable at the moment and the one thing that i've been pleased with right throughout this year has been the short game the ping chipper does a job as does this 60 degree wedge they couldn't be more opposite in their sort of style of club and um, the putter again maybe just sticking with that i've been on that too long las vegas putter i've been sticking with it trying to always take that out in the bag which is something i've been guilty of in the past of always swapping when i'm i'm never putting the clubs back in my clubs back in the bag once i've done some testing so the putter has been quite good and uh, i think four over with three off the tee on 17 uh, for 10 holes was a really good return to be fair right it's one a bit different. We recorded this amongst some other videos we were doing at the time and uh, we thought we'd see what you think. Uh, as ever, you let me know if you like them, then we'll do some more. If you don't like them, then we'll pull the plug on it. It's as simple as that. Uh, but thanks for watching. Hit the like button, do whatever you do, and I'll see you all soon. Yes.